A contentious flag that symbolized America's past connection with slavery, soon to be gone. Lawmakers in Mississippi voted overwhelmingly to remove the state flag 126 years after it was adopted. The last of its kind in the U.S. to carry the symbol of the Confederate states that fought and lost the Civil War to maintain slavery in America. Do you want to be on the right side of history or do you not? And I'm proud of the vote that I personally cast here today, and I'm certainly proud of the other 80 individuals who came alongside to cast that same vote. For many, the Confederate flag symbolizes hate. My parents and grandparents experienced much terrorism and tyranny under that flag. Uh, as a younger Mississippian, a millennial, it represents uh, darker days of our state when our state government and various others used it as a symbol of, of supremacy. Others argued getting rid of the flag is another attempt to wipe out America's history. They're going to change everything. They're taking the monuments down. They're taking your flags down. They want to take Columbus down. They want to take George Washington down. In 2001, Mississippi voters decided by a two to one margin to keep the flag as the official state emblem. But times have changed. With the death of George Floyd in May, sparking nationwide civil rights protests, highlighting racial inequalities, a renewed call to change the flag. This time, it was successful. But a new flag is just the first step in achieving racial justice, some argue. More is needed in a state where 31% of blacks live in poverty compared to 12% of whites. The, the flag is a symbol and, you know, I applaud them because now it relieves the trauma that I faced daily and what most African Americans in the state face. So that is a positive. But from a substantive angle, we have to see these policies um, that are punitive and draconian right now. We have to get rid of those policies so that we can have equal playing field um, once and for all. A nine-person commission will oversee a new state flag design. Voters will approve or reject it on the ballot in November. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, 